technical problem that enables him unable to take the green flag in heat number one. Hopefully, he is good to go for the feature. Green flag is out. Eight laps. That is that's around the green flag for the sportsman. The Manila Stewardship Sportsman will take the green flag in the terms of one and two for the first time. Paul Townsend, Charlie the way down the back, Charlie Ray, Dave Kozlowski, even pace will. Through turns number three and four, and Andy J thought about it. Don't be a fan of the team change. They're still around the world, so back in the run. Kozlowski hanging on to that outside, and Townsend on the inside. That is not giving up any room for Andy J to try to make a move. There are two racing lanes, but there's not much room other than that. And when these two cars are side by side, there's really no one else to go ahead. It's bunching up this short field to lead them. It's going to bunch everybody up and away. There's still a way to run for a lead off. Turns number one and two. Townsend will finally break line and go down the back straight away with the lead. And now Andy J trying to fill the gap, but the gap's not there anymore. They're working for three and four. Andy J with a take for the second. That opens up the inside move now. Tyler Catalano will stick the nose of the 64 underneath Kozlowski. Meanwhile, Andy J is going for the lead. Kozlowski got a little loose out of turn four that allowed the Catalano machine to get by him and for Andy J to get into that top position. Townsend now loose, and that's going to help the Catalano and Kozlowski to get back to the outside. But Catalano finds room on the inside to go back into position number two. Balls a move down to the bottom of the last track for Tyler Catalano to take the two spot away from Paul Townsend. And now Townsend and Kozlowski once again the magnets will follow each other side by side. Give Kozlowski now the third spot. Townsend will slip in four. Cameron Rogerio right there. He'll fill the middle of the last track. And now they'll go wheel to wheel for four. Top three have strung themselves out. Paolo Pesco sticks up in the air. Two laps to go for Andy Jai. Andy J so comfortable in the lead. Tyler Catalano trying to chase him down in position number two. And car number 36 right now holding on to position number three, but with Ruggiero on his tail trying to close that gap with a lap and a half to go. They'll work it into three and four. Top two pulled away from the balance of the field. We'll keep the eyes on Cameron Ruggiero. Here in the 62, he'll try to go after Kozlowski to get one more spot. All uh, the difference here this evening. So work down the back straight away and into three and four. Checker flag is in the air and Andy J will pick up the heat wave with A's. Second Tyler Catalano, third Kozlowski, fourth Ruggiero. Then it's Townsend and Cook. Second of three for the sportsman. Tom McCoy underneath, Craig Jake will pick up the pace off turn number four. Green lights are coming out of the air. Barber quickly jumping into that second spot under Jake Vernon. We'll see if he's able to hold on on the turn number two. Kurt Boone high on Vernon's bumper as his Carolina looking the inside for fourth. World of World under three and four for the first time in the two variants. Out front, Tom McCoy and Jake Vernon. The young guns are coming. Here comes Trevor Catalano to the inside of Jake Vernon. He'll take third away. Kurt Boone's going to try to follow him down the back straight away. In the turns, number three and four, give Carbone the fourth spot. Vernon will fall back to fifth with Wilbur and Pinot at the back of their chase and take the lead. All single files, they cross the stripe and out of turn number two to the back straightaway. Barber slowly catching McClellan. We'll see what Catalano has for them as they all go one by one around turns three and four. Single file knows the tail. Like a snake line in the turns number one and two. We'll see who's going to turn up the wick first. It looks like it's going to be Trevor Catalano. Going to start to apply the pressure now to John Barber. We're halfway home this time. Four up, four down. And Tom McClellan still leads the line. McClellan wiggled a little bit out of turn number four. That allowed Barber and Catalano to close the gap. But as of right now, he is hanging tight to that bottom line. And if they want to pass him, they're going to have to go to the outside. Into three and four, lap five going up on here in the turns of a one and two. Tom McLeod still leading, Barber left. Catalano's there, but Barber will keep the two spot. Now we'll see if Trevor will go to the inside to get around Barber. Through three and four, two laps to go. Tom McLeod still leads, Barber and Catalano. They're pulled away from fourth place, Tony Carbone. 
Bump, 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 down the back straight away. These top three cars, you can throw a blanket under them. Catalano is very eager to make a pass. He doesn't have a lot of room as they come to the white flag. White flag is up in the air. They'll take off in a one and two for the final time. Tom McCord leads. John Barbell's there. Knock, knock, knocking on the door. From McCord will slam the door, shutting his face. They work off turn number three. They walk forward and forward, heading to the lead. Tom McCord's up for the lead. Barber, Catalano, Carmel, Vernon, Wilbur, and Pinnell. Hopefully, just as many take the green for the feature. Great flag goes up into the air. Here we go. Some heavy hitters in this one. Nice score. Take off one, two, down the back straight away. And here comes Scotty Railway. Wally looking underneath Sopranic. First time lead. It's going to be Shane Miller. Shane Miller. Andy Nye making a pass on Sopranic on the inside to move himself into the fourth position as Scora sets his sights on race leader Sean Nye, who got a big jump. When they took the green flag and has not looked back since. Nye up front, score lines into Wally in third. Andy Nye in fourth, fifth, Jeff Sopranic, Andy lost him, got up to Nye's in the 86, Nye still smoking out of the right side, teleports on the 86, and just as I said, it's three Nye's in the middle of the end block. And we will able to keep it going. You'll be able to work it down. Pit road. We'll stay clear to green and score. Oh, 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 oh. Well, thank you for that little new asphalt paved area for him to get on the pit road. George Scorer is trying to catch the back bumper of Sean Nye and Andy now. Looking to get a little bit closer to Scott Wiley, but a big gap between cars two and three is Scorer. Looks to the inside on Nye, going to turn number three. Sean up front, the big lady's head is down to nothing because here comes Georgie. Three laps to go. Still smoking now. In the toys of a run until you follow the tire tracks off the second quarter. Sean slipped up the half. George trying to get underneath nine on the back straightaway. Couldn't do it that time. In the turns of a three and four, the power of Pasco sticks are up in the air. Two laps to go for the lead score. Everybody's in pads, a two with two laps to go. Score still wants the lead. Nye pushing out of turn two. Score attack can't take advantage yet. He's still losing by half a car length as he tries to make it up on the other side of the racetrack. In the third and four, they'll see the clean sheet right now. It's score attack. 